All right, this is Hakusei Reviews back with another retro anime review, and this time it's going to be Lily Cat. Lily Cat is a single episode OVA that was released in 1987. It was directed by Hisa Yuki Toriyumi and produced by Studio Piro. The story centers around a small crew that's being sent on a long distance expedition through space. They are being sent by a company to investigate a newly discovered planet that is about a 20 years journey away from where they are. Luckily for the crew, there are sleep capsules aboard the ship that will keep them asleep during the journey and will wake them up once the journey is finished, having them only age one year instead of the 20 years that the journey will take. The story will mainly focus on the main hero and heroine of the story, two of the crew members, one a man named Hero with a mysterious past, and a young girl named Nancy. The story for the most part will focus on Hero. He's the one with the most interesting backstory and drives most of the plot. Nancy really is kind of a lame character that just kind of exists to be a damsel in distress and give the story a bit of a romance aspect to it. The crew undergoes the journey and after they awake from their deep sleep, they get a disturbing message from the company that sent them on the journey. They are informed that there are two members of the crew that are imposters. They're disguising themselves as crewmates, and a lot of the plot from that point on is kind of just the crew trying to figure out who's the imposters. Shortly after that, one of the crewmates ends up dead under mysterious circumstances, and shortly after that, when they bring the body to the doctor, the doctor that investigated the body ends up dead also. And then on top of that, both of the dead bodies end up disappearing. Long story short, they find out there's a alien bacteria that has been released on the ship that has infected some of the crew. The bacteria ends up evolving and becoming a large creature that begins attacking members of the crew and killing them. So the remaining members of the crew have to fight for survival against the invading alien and try to figure out how to get off the ship and survive and be able to return home. There's a lot of great action sequences in here where the crew are fighting against the alien. The alien's a really cool creature. It reminds you a lot of the xenomorph from Alien. It also is shown to have some abilities to copy the people that is killed, kind of like the alien from John Carpenter's The Thing. Both films are clear influences on this anime. Another aspect of the story is that the computers of the ship are taken over and the crew has to fight against the computers for survival also. They find out that the cat Lily that is on the ship is actually a robot that has a role in controlling the ship. The crew eventually discover that the company that sent them on the journey is actually trying to study the bacteria and is now trying to prevent the crew from escaping from the ship and being able to spread the word of what the company has done. Most of the characters are not very interesting. They all have their role on the crew, but most of their roles in the story is simply just to either give a little backstory on what's going on and why they're there, or to serve as victims to the alien to kind of give good action sequences and up the stakes a little bit for the main cast. We do get a little bit more backstory on Hero, as well as another member of the crew, Dick Barry, who is a detective that is there trying to capture a criminal. He's one of the imposters, and it ends up being revealed that Hero is the other one. It's revealed that he is actually on the ship trying to run from the police because he murdered a couple drug dealers that caused the death of his sister. Other than the storyline between Hero running from the police and the detective Dick Barry trying to capture him, there's not really much as far as interesting characters. So most of the remaining plot is the crew fighting against the alien creature and fighting against the computer systems. The entire crew is either killed off by the creature or dies from infection, but our two heroes manage to escape on a small escape shuttle where they manage to escape and blow up the ship, destroying the alien creature and the bacteria. The ending leaves it kind of unknown whether Hero or Nancy may be infected with the bacteria and may end up bringing the bacteria to Earth. This anime is a really good action sci-fi anime. If you're a fan of the sci-fi genre and a fan of films like Alien, The Thing, this anime is probably for you. 
The Sovie is well animated. The action sequences are really good to look at and have really nice fluid animation. The fights against the alien and the effects when the creature attacks are really, really well done and they look really unique and are really memorable. There's some really gruesome, gory scenes when the crew is attacked. So you get all the action and violence that you would expect from an OVA of that era. The story is pretty simple and gets most of its ideas from the films that it's influenced by. Like I mentioned before, especially Alien with the way that they have to fight it for survival in the ship with the creature that's lurking around and picking them off one by one. And they also kind of have the idea of like having to fight against the computer system in control of the ship, which is similar to what happens in 2001 A Space Odyssey. And they take the idea of the creature being able to mimic its victims from John Carpenter's The Thing. So the plot ends up being a mixture of all these classic sci-fi movies, though admittedly the story ends up not being nearly as good as any of those three movies. But if you're a fan of those and you want to see something similar in anime form, this one's a good choice. The anime has some good points um, in the plot that are a little bit interesting, like the way they deal with the effects on the crew traveling these long distances and they themselves not aging very much, but when they come back, everyone on Earth ends up being much older. One of the characters talks about how he left his son on Earth and went on a voyage and by the time he came back, he was an old man older than him. So that's kind of interesting. I mean, it's not real unique. It's been done in a lot of sci-fi before. You also have the kind of aspect of like criminals using that to escape the police, which is a little bit unique, a, a take on it that I haven't seen in other sci-fi films or anime or anything like that. So that's pretty interesting. The characters for the most part are pretty weak outside of maybe the main character. But for the most part, this anime is mostly about the action. It's got a really cool sci-fi setting which makes it really memorable and the action sequences make it all worth it. It's not perfect and you may be better off with just watching Alien but if you're tired of watching that movie you could maybe give this anime a try. I'd probably rate this one 3 maybe 3.5 out of 5 stars. It's not perfect but it is definitely fun. It accomplishes what it sets out to accomplish and while not being overly unique and it definitely wears its influences on its sleeves but it's interesting to see an anime take on this type of sci-fi setting so if you haven't seen it i'd recommend giving it a try especially if you're a fan of sci-fi movies so that's all for this retro anime review um, i have several more planned so please um, subscribe to my channel for that it would also mean a lot to me if you could leave a like on the video because it helps a lot with YouTube recommending my video to people and helping people see it. That would really mean a lot to me too. So until next time, bye.